Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Knoxville. Only the best go three up. It is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here at Eldora Speedway, it's showtime. You've got a horror Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt, the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back. Relax and enjoy, because ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Set to do battle for 30 laps, the green flag is waving! Welcome back, it is MRN's Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires here on Motor Racing Network. So glad you joined us, talking sprint car racing, our favorite time of the week. And we again are glad you were along for the ride. Aaron Evernham and Steve Post here, we're going to talk to Sammy Swindell and Jake Brack, uh, Bl uh, Brockhurst. Uh, scoring the victory, or Blackhurst scoring the victory with the MOA series. And I am telling you what, he swept the weekend at Jacksonville, Illinois. And Sammy, well, he's still winning. Hashtag still winning. Aaron Evernham have alongside after a week off where, where that other half uh, joined us. Yeah. It yeah. was the not better half dash or for whatever you want to call <laughs> it, but Ray was here. And uh, so good to have you back. Thanks, good thanks. I was a little nervous. I mean, I saw some really good reviews. I was nervous I might have lost my job. Nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So all good. Uh, Gray hanging out with Ray last week. And I think it's interesting. Last week we talked to Doug Wolfgang. This week we talked to yeah. Sammy Swindell. We talk about Mount Rushmore of sprint car racing. Yep. There's two of them right there. Absolutely. And love that we get a chance to talk to our legends. Some of them that are no longer racing and other ones that are yeah. still racing and winning races. So really, really cool. Let's get right to it because we do have Sammy coming up here at the top of the show. But our classic ink screen printing and embroidery hot topics. What's hot? Joey Saldana at Eldora. I am telling you, Aaron, and I know you and I just chatted here. You, you didn't get a chance to see the video. I am telling you as a... As a as a person who loves the 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 technique, the engineering, yeah. the science, all of that of racing, go watch Joey. I know. And I need Eldora. to find it. I, I go need to watch find him. That. I am telling you, when they do his Hall of Fame display at the Hall of Fame, yes. which they will do. So, Bob, if you're listening, if you want to save money on the plaque, just put a plaque with Joey Saldana on it. You know, you can etch in the date whenever, as far as that goes. He will be out there. And when we talk about Joey. It's Joey and Eldora, so many great, yeah. great memories. I am telling you what he did Saturday night at Eldora, inside, outside, up along the fence, in the middle of the racetrack, through lap cars, inside, outside, passing them. Uh, there was, there was I, I, I would love to see his lap times for that race because I don't know that he ever broke rank and lost momentum. No, he's awesome at Eldora. I think I told you one of the first times I saw him race was at Eldora. And this was back when they used to keep the track nice and heavy, and he went all four tires over the cushion, and he was just, I've never seen anything like it to this day. I mean, he's done it a, a little bit at, El, you know, other places. But to see him do it at Eldora, it was one of my first memories of the Outlaws, and I was blown away. I was like, who is that guy? And he is insane, and he is fast. Exactly. That was Saturday night. Yeah. This is vintage Joey Saldana, and in vintage fashion, there was nobody close. Yeah. I mean, you, there nobody can be close. You get Joey hooked up like that at Eldora, and it don't matter who they roll in there. You could roll, you pick 23 other drivers. And I don't care who they are. You get Joey like that night at Eldora, and it's a matter of who's going to be on the podium with him. Absolutely. It's awesome to see him back in victory lane, you know, off the no, no road doubt. full time. And I, I see pictures this week on social media. He's with his family in Colorado on vacation. So I think life is pretty good for Joey. Right? I certainly looks like it, and we certainly uh, Joe, just love Joey Saldana. And, man, that exhibit, I'm telling you what, as I've heard the Joey stories, and I've shared. I'm the new guy around here. I yeah. don't go back a long way in sprint cars. I've heard the Joey stories. I've heard Joey at Eldora stories. I watched the video. I got to see it. Yeah. I know it was a video, but I am telling you, it was spectacular. Also spectacular. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you what, when Tim Schaefer gets this 49 car hooked up, it is game, set, match, and it don't matter who races with him there. <laughs> him and Cody Jacobs, I'm telling yeah. you what, we talk about combinations, they have got they this thing They hit something rolling. for sure. And uh, another veteran that's awesome to still see in victory lane. Like, Tim is a great guy. He's been on the road for a long time, and to see him back winning races this year has been he even tried to drive it through the moat last night at Ransomville. And oh, still and there is race. a big moat there. Well, yeah, yeah, he got a wheel over, got pointed in that direction, oh, never boy. lifted, never <laughs> even Brad. Brad Sweet said afterwards, said, I saw him do it, but I couldn't really do anything with him. So, <laughs> unreal. So, great, great stuff to see Tim Schaefer winning. And finally, the other classic, and I didn't write this one down in our notes here. Did you by any chance see Dirt Vision Saturday night from Port Royal? Yes. The light show with the four wide salute. Amazing. Unreal. The front stretch lights, the new Musco lighting, Steve, Steve O'Neill, yeah. they had to wait to Beautiful. put the front stretch in. Beautiful lighting. 
But when they came off from turn number four, and you could tell it was not part of the show that anyone knew about, the lights started flashing. So cool. So much so that when they got done, Johnny Gibson, even on the door, just said, I got to admit, that light show was pretty cool. You know, <laughs> I mean, it was phenomenal. So another thing, and, and Port Royal continues to just knock it out of the ballpark. There you have it, your classic screen printing and embroidery hot topics. Great for corporate events, other sports, school events, shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, towels, hats, and a whole lot more www.classicinkusa.com. When we return, he's still winning. His name is Sammy Swindell, and he joins us next. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires will get you there. Whether you're running on dirt or running a job, our dependable, high-quality tires are the perfect fit for your needs. For unmatched value, selection, and warranty with industry-leading road hazard protection, there's only one choice. Hercules Tires. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com or call 800-677-9535. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. One out of every four batteries will fail this winter. Get yours tested for free during Super Start Battery Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. We'll help determine the life of your battery or the perfect replacement. Plus, take advantage of the mail-in rebates on select Super Start batteries. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. At Victory Junction, it's simple. We believe every child, no matter their diagnosis or disability, deserves the chance to just be a kid. So we provide a medically safe environment where children who live in a world of hospital stays and doctor's visits are free to do everything from riding horses, zip lining, swimming, fishing, and bowling, all at no cost to the camper. The experience inspires confidence, builds self-esteem, and changes the life of every child who comes here. Help us change a child's life at VictoryJunction.org. Find Wing Nation on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and in the MRN.com Media Center. Welcome back. It is MRN's Wing Nation presented by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Hashtag still winning. Sprint car fans know what that means. That means Sammy Swindell has done it again. And this time, it was for the fifth time at the Short Track Nationals at I-30 Speedway. He's on the hotline now. Sammy, welcome back to Wing Nation. Hey, thanks for having me. Congratulations. Tell us about that uh, win on Saturday night. Uh, man, you had a you had, you had a sweet sweet running hot rod out there, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was uh, pretty nice there when we you know, went out for the warm-ups. Uh, everything went real well. And, um, you know, we had a good car all weekend. It, uh, we just did a little fine-tuning on some things. And, and um, you know, it, it just, just pretty smooth sailing all weekend. Sammy, I, I saw where you mentioned that you had a caution and A.G. Reigns uh, signaled for you to, to run the top, and you said from there you were just, you were, you were on it. Um, how important was that that he gave you that signal, and how often do you get signals as, as a driver under caution? Uh, well, it just depends. I mean, a lot of times, uh, you know, if 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 the person can be someplace where you can see them or whatever, you know, it it, it definitely helps to know a little bit about what's going on. Uh, but you know, it just I, I don't know if it would have really made any difference. Really, it was just um, I could be more consistent and maybe just a touch quicker up around the top in one and two where I was running kind of the middle or the bottom and, and then the top, I was on the top the whole time in three and four. So um, once I went up there, it was, you know, I could tell, well, there's, this was a lot easier to run through there and it seemed like it was quicker. So um, just stayed with it. Sammy? You've been winning races for Lord knows how long now and everything. I mean, is it, you know, and, and you're not one of those guys that, you know, you beats on your chest and screams and hollers and crows about it a lot as far as that goes. But I can't imagine that, is it, is it as rewarding now to just go whoop everybody as it, as it, as it was back in the day when you first started? I mean, the, the, the art of winning is something that you've, you've, you've done so well at. I guess my question is, is, is it still, obviously still get you juiced up to go do it? Yeah. I mean, that, that's the only reason to do it. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough, uh, back in 1971 to win the third night out. So, um, 
and we wound up winning every race at this one track and 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 won more than anybody else because I didn't start until like in the middle of the year um, when my dad got his new car done. It was like the Fourth of July weekend, so I got to run from there to the end of the year. And um, you know, I think uh, just in that half half the season, I probably won about fifteen main events so um that was a pretty good way to start your career i i'd say (laughs) sammy uh, talking about all your wins and and number of races you've run uh, is there do you have a preference a short track a a long track i mean you're great at knoxville a big place you're great on the short short track nationals do you have a preference what what do you prefer no no it doesn't matter i mean it's um you know, as long as there's a racetrack and you can pass on when you get to the ones and you and you just get in line and there's kind of one lane uh, you know it doesn't matter what size they are they're not not a lot of fun i mean it's the ones that you can move around and 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 work the car and work the traffic uh um, they're the ones that are enjoyable because um you know a big part of it i mean when I started. Um, the track at West Memphis, they would let everybody start. There might be 40 cars out there. And I remember starting on the front and coming around and coming off of turn two, and the other guys at the back hadn't even took off yet. So mm-hmm. you'd catch them before the first lap. So you learn to get through past cars and maneuver around, um, you know, on a tight track. So I think that, that, that helped uh, me learn a lot you know, about racing or, 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 you know, having to pass people and, and, and just get through little holes or little places and when to go and when not to go, you know, um, so it, you know, so that it, it doesn't matter what size track, it's just as long as you can race, as long as you can pass, you know, so, so, you know, it, it it doesn't matter to me. I mean, the the, the bigger tracks, the faster tracks, uh, I, I seem to like them more because I mean, it seems like you run with fewer people on the faster places because there's a lot more involved. Uh, where the smaller places, it it doesn't matter if you're off a bit. Uh, you know, it gets hard to pass people, and you you only have so much room to do it in. So, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it, it, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just to or get crosses the checkered flag first. Indeed. Sammy, I saw an interview with my buddy Scott Trailer with the Racing Boys afterward, and, and you had indicated, you know, uh, Scott was kind of poking around. He's coming back next year. What are you doing going forward? And, and I know that those are always variables that, you know, rides and all that other stuff are available. But one of the things that you, you talked about is your sight's still good, your reflex is still good, your health is still good. The reflexes in sight, it's kind of like, what do you do to manage that? But from a, from a, from a health standpoint, have you, do, do, you, do you pay attention to what you eat? Do you do some working out? Do you do some things to keep yourself physically in shape? Or is it just kind of genetically the way, the way, the way you're wired? Well, I mean, I, I do work out when I can. I try to eat the right stuff when I can. But, it, you know, that, that's the biggest problem of all the years of when we're on the road all the time you know for maybe six or seven months of the year you're just out there so it makes it harder to do that so uh by me having a shorter schedule i could be at home more and then i can work out more i can eat better and and manage all those things a lot better you know doing you know 50 races instead of 100 races and and being home almost every week i mean you know, like the last year, um, it's I've been here in Memphis at times I haven't been here in probably, you know, the, the summertime of the year. Uh, I, I haven't been here in probably 20 to 25 years. So I get to see a whole different side of the town and everything that I've, that I've missed for so long. So uh, it's just a lot of things that are different, you know, and I, and I know that People ask, well, how long are you going to do it? Well, it's the only answer I can say is that, you know, as long as I can feel like I can compete and win, uh, then I'll try to do it. If, if 
you know, it could be, you know, the health, the eyesight, the reflexes. I mean, it could be just a desire. It's like, well, I don't want to do it anymore. You, you know, so so when it gets to that point to where you just can't focus enough to, to win races, it, you know, I just won't, don't want to go there to be part of the crowd. I, I want to be there to win races. And, and as long as I can do that, then I'll I'll try to do it as long as I can. You know, and like you said, there's a lot of variables in there as to whether you have a car to do certain things or, or, or you know, and that that's a part of it too. I mean, it's it's harder to find a, a a good team to run, you know, a smaller schedule sometimes. Makes sense. Makes sense. It is getting that right combination. That's for sure. Well, Sammy, I'm telling you, uh, hashtag still winning. It just continues to pop up every. It seems like every. It seems like the last couple of weeks, it's been yeah. all the talk on the social media front. We certainly wish you congratulations on the, the wins here recently, including the Short Track Nationals. And as always, a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks for the time here today. Yeah, thanks. I think they said we were like one of the last five of the seven. So um, I'll take that. And <laughs> hopefully we can just continue right along here. But, uh, you know, a lot of things are, you know, a lot of things have to go your way, too. I mean, it's. And, and that's been happening for us, like in the first part of the year, it didn't. So, um, you know, at times you know kind of where you're at. And um, but but winning races consistently it gives you a lot of confidence in it. And when you're up there, you, you get to fine tune on all the little things and and, and get better. So I've, I've I've been through this a lot of times, and um, you know, you just don't want it to stop. No. <laughs> Nor, nor do your legion of fans, yes. that's for sure. Sammy, again, thanks for the time, and uh, we wish you the best of the balance of the season and throughout. All right, thank you. There we go. He's still winning. He's won five of the last seven. That's unbelievable. You thought 15 in his first year was impressive. Five yeah, of the last I seven did. is pretty good, well, too. Well, he started in July or something. Yeah. I mean, that's not too Well, shabby. it's only 1971 to 2017. It's not like there's any window of time there. Oh, gosh. The legendary Sammy Swindell. How about that? Stay with us more in just a moment. For over 50 years, drivers in sprint car, midget, micro, modified, and even dirt lay model have taken the checkered flag on weld racing wheels. Legendary drivers like Joe Saldana, Carl, Mark, and Steve Kinzer, Doug Wolfgang, and countless other racers have trusted weld racing wheels for their superior strength and lightweight construction to finish ahead of the competition. With 50 years of race winning engineering and technology, American-made weld racing wheels are designed and built to withstand virtually any abuse you throw at them. Weld racing. Proven speed. The National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum's newest feature exhibit is our salute to champion Sammy Swindell, June 9th through October 15th, at the only museum in the world solely dedicated to sprint car racing, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum in Knoxville, Iowa. Stop in and check out eight of Sammy's original race cars and see his trophies, uniforms, and more as you learn about his outstanding career. The salute to champion Sammy Swindell is only this season at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum in Knoxville. Hi, I'm Stevie Smith, and you're listening to Wing Nation. Welcome back. It is MRN's Wing Nation here presented by Hercules Tires. All right. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we just sat here and did some ciphering. That's 46 six years. Yeah. Still winning. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's also amazing. When you go into town and you win on Friday and Saturday night back-to-back, -back, it was Shaheen Super Weekend for the Moa Sprints in Jacksonville, Illinois. Jake Blaster, or Blackhurst is the one who did it. And he joins us on the line now. Hello, Jake. Welcome back to our welcome to Wing Nation. Hey, guys. How's it going? Thank you for having me. It is great to have you on. Tell us about your weekend, dude. Sounds like you had that thing rolling. Well, I tell you what. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Uh, we, uh, we, we've we been fast all year, I know. And uh, we go down to Jacksonville. We struggled there. And, uh, you know, we never thought we would come out of this weekend with two wins. And it was great. Car was fast all weekend. My dad did a great job. Everybody Everybody that helps us, I can't appreciate. I just appreciate so much. Uh, but yeah, we heck, we just won our first sprint car win um, a month and a half ago or so. So to get two in a row at a track like that, man, it was great. Wow, that's really impressive, Jake. Tell us a little bit about your background. I saw uh, going through some of your social media that you've run some midgets uh, now in wing sprint cars. Tell us about a little bit about your background. Well, I uh, I started out in a Ford Focus midget. We uh, then we moved up to a pavement midget 
all pavement stuff, didn't do a whole lot of dirt. And uh, Tim Clawson had approached me at probably 2010, I believe. So we kind of just did a deal. We ran um, about three, four years in a midget, and uh, we were successful. And uh, after that, we just kind of got out of it. We uh, Dad wanted to get a sprint car. We got ourselves a sprint car. Uh, this is my third full year. And um, we've just been basically only wing sprint car stuff lately, and we've uh, we've had a pretty good year so far. I would say, I would say, and, and where you're sitting there, uh, the, it, it sounds to me a family-run team getting your footing in sprint car racing. Uh, and we had Jeremy Standridge on a few weeks ago on our on our podcast. It, it, it looks to me like this MOA situation, MOA series right here in your area with similar guys, family racing teams, some guys trying to get the footing, some guys that have been doing it for quite some time. Sounds like you're in a really good spot for some great racing and, 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 and doing what you're doing. Yeah, it is great. You know, we got the MOA series here that's locally for us, and uh, it's a little bit easier for us to do. Then we've been also traveling up north, which isn't too far for us, Toronto, the uh, IRA series. Great series, good people. And, uh, you know, other than that, we just kind of hit or miss on what we could do. But, uh, yeah, the MOA series that's close for us does make it very easy for, uh, you know, it's just me and my dad doing this. And uh, I, get, I get one of my buddies to help me every once in a while. But, uh, you know, we're, we're, basically, we're just doing it to have fun and uh, to be successful while doing it with all these, these great drivers, great teams, it's, it's really cool. Jake, how did you and your father decide to go, or why did you decide to go wing sprint car racing after having all those years on the pavement? You know, that's a good question. I, I couldn't, I don't, it's just, uh, when we had the midget deal, uh, Bernie over at Indy Race Parts, he had an um, older used car. And it, I, think, I think it was Christmas, I walked into the race shop, seen a wing, wing sprint car sitting there that my dad had just got. And I said, Dad, what's this? And he said, I guess that's kind of how it started. We uh, had it for a year, it sat in the shop. And then the next year, we, uh, we started running a few, uh, probably ran uh, uh, 10 races or so dur- during the midget stuff. And, um, you know, I liked it a lot. We were fast right off the get-go. So I think it kind of fit more of my driving style. And uh, after that, it's just we kind of dedicated all our time to the wing sprint car. That is really cool. Christmas. Great Christmas present. How about that? How about that? I need to get, your, I need to get on your dad's list. I need to get on, send, send the postman a little something, something here. Uh, Jake, okay, so you go out. Now, I'm following along on your Twitter account. You have a great weekend Friday and Saturday night. But I'm, I believe you're a Green Bay Packers fan and Aaron Rodgers with a broken shoulder. Man, uh, dude, that, that can't be good. Oh, it's devastating, man. I'm telling you. That, uh, the, the, the football season is one of my favorite times of the year. And um, we're, our, my family's huge Green Bay fans to see that. Man, that's a big bummer for us. But it is what it is. It happens. How did you become a Green Bay fan? Uh, just kind of born into it, I guess. My my. My dad, my grandpa, they were all huge, huge Green Bay fans. My, uh, my uncle's named after Vince Lombardi. My dad's named after Paul Horning. So <laughs> that kind of tells you that. Wow. Okay, there we go. We don't have, let's see, uh, Jake DeLone. No, he was a Panther. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, that is great. Jake, I'm telling you, it's been a pleasure chatting with you here today. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on the success. Uh, it was so much fun watching you celebrate. Watch some of the video snippets on uh, on Twitter and stuff that that were put out. And uh, we we congratulate you on the success and, and wish you the best going forward. Yeah, thank you so much. It's, uh, hopefully, we can keep it going. I appreciate it. There we go. Jake Blackhurst uh, joining us here. Man, isn't that that is what I love about uh. sprint car racing? I mean, you got a father and son out here that yep. it started as a Christmas present. Winning races, and then you got Sammy for, gosh, I think we're at 88 years straight or something like that. I, mean, I don't know where we're at. It's crazy. It really is. Great, great stuff. And uh, that, that MOA series and Jake just doing a great job. And uh, great, to, great to see a couple of different sides of sprint car racing yeah. here. Well, yeah. Extreme ends of the spectrum. Yes, someone indeed. just starting and having success and someone 46 years into their success. <laughs> exactly. Great stuff. Hey, we need to step away. More MRN's Wing Nation in just a moment. Only the best go free abreast, and they're coming to a track near you in 2017. No matter where you're at, the American Sprint Car Series is near you. From the Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, presented by the Mad TV Motorsports Network, to any of the seven ASCS Regional Tours, there's over 150 nights of racing to choose from in 2017. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates. Listen live on RacingBoys.com and get the full rundown at ASCSRacing.com. 
Classic Ink USA Screen Printing and Embroidery is constantly testing the limits of custom racewear and specialized embroidery. Headquartered in Western Pennsylvania, Classic Ink holds the highest standard, maximizing your return as well as the ultimate customer satisfaction. From track swag fan wear to quick crew crew wear, Classic Ink has you covered. Their dedicated staff and designers will keep your race team and fans looking sharp. Contact Classic Ink today and get your team ahead of the competition. www.classicinkusa.com That's Classic Ink at the track and on your back. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. One out of every four batteries will fail this winter. Get yours tested for free during Superstart Battery Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. We'll help determine the life of your battery or the perfect replacement. Plus, take advantage of the mail-in rebates on select Superstart batteries. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Hi, I'm Dale Blaney, and you're listening to Wing Nation on MotorRacingNetwork.com. Welcome back. It is MRN's Wing Nation, presented by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum, turn number two in Knoxville, Iowa, right alongside of the Knoxville Raceway at the famed Marion County Fairgrounds. Birthdays, uh, Wednesday, Ralph Parkinson Sr. How about this? Brownie's birthday is on Thursday. Uh, Brownie. I may, hey, I'm going out that way. I might have to see if... Uh, no, I'm not going to hook up with him. I'm not buying him dinner. Maybe I was going to see if he would buy me some barbecue, but I uh, it's his birthday. I don't know if I can You'd pull have to that buy, off. Yeah. Oh, I'd have to buy. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about that. Although he's got a barbecue joint out there. i got to try. I might have to work on that. Uh, <laughs> Gordon Woolley. Okay, Friday. Listen to this. Gordon Woolley. Okay. Now, he is a 1997 inductee into the Sprint Car Hall of Fame. Born in 1922. As a teenager, he would go to the local racetrack and flip cars. Like a stunt show, oh, and you get ten dollars per $10. flip. Ten dollars. Ten dollars per flip. Exactly. Started racing at a racetrack near Waco, Texas, called well, nicknamed the Suicide Bowl. Yikes. I know exactly. Seventeen I straight wins at one that. time in there. Yeah. I gotta see the exactly. Suicide Bowl. IMCA champion in nineteen sixty three. The first Texan to ever win that. Many, many wins along the way. So much so, I think he's in six Hall of Fames. Wow. Here's the cool part. Well, it's not. It's just. He lived until 94 years old, passed away earlier this year. Wow, that's How about that? And I know story. I was talking to Larry Janicek, my buddy from out there. They've had a bad year with mm-hmm. inductees passing away yeah. this year, uh, you know, through a variety of things. I mean, Gordon here went 94 years, yeah, okay? Yeah. It was a good long run there. But uh, so Gordon Woolley, that's why we celebrate. That's why we have the Hall of Fame yeah. out there is so you can see stories and read about guys like Gordon Woolley, the 1997 inductee into the Sprint Car Hall of Fame. Chad Kemenaw has a birthday on Saturday. Sunday birthdays, Dave Argerbright, Lucas Wolf, and Shane Cottle. Hey, I just saw this, and, and uh, I just saw this this morning. Uh, Rich Farmer, and we've talked about Rich at Fremont, yeah. does a great job oh. up at Fremont, has just sold the track to the fair board. Yeah. He's going to stay on as the promoter. And, and I don't know what this means, and, 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 and I don't mean to interject myself into anybody's business or anything like that, but I'm telling you, if a fair board at the Sandusky County Fairgrounds can do what a fair board in central Pennsylvania at the Junietta County yeah. Fair can do. Uh, I, I really like the sounds of this. And again, I don't yeah. need to get in any business. I, I, I hope it's all for good reasons. And, and it just happened here a few minutes yeah, ago. I, saw that so I didn't get a chance to send Rich a note to see what was going on. Uh, but I certainly wish Rich and everyone at Fremont the best as a new promoter. And uh, like I said, if, if, if the fair, if we can see what's happening and there's no reason not to believe because Fremont is rich in yep. area of spring yep. cars as Port Royal is, I'm telling you what, it, it, this thing, I, I like the sounds of this. I really, really I do. It sounds really cool. So we wish everyone at the Sandusky County Fairgrounds up there and Rich the best with the new sale, the new situation there. And we hope it means great, great things for 410 Racing. I want to mention this also. Sunday, Aaron, is the fifth annual, which that doesn't seem possible. I, well, I just shook my head when I read that. Jason Leffler Memorial. Doug Stringer does this race at Wayne County Speedway in Illinois. Power Eye and USAC Midgets, $20,000 to win. All the proceeds from this thing go to Charlie Dean, who is yep. uh, Jason's son. And uh, I'm just, I, I, we have this race, and it just seems like yesterday. Uh, I was leaving MRN when I got a text. We were doing a, a Wednesday night show, uh, leaving a text from, uh, from a writer saying, hey, yeah. do you know anything about this? And that doesn't seem like five years ago, but the fifth annual Jason Leffler Memorial is this Sunday night. And Doug Stringer, he owns uh, Clay Milliken's drag car. Yep. Doug Stringer, I'm telling you, you want to talk about cool dudes. Yeah. That's Character. the man right there. Character, yeah. no <laughs> doubt about it. Hey, we need to step away. We appreciate her, her call it a day, I guess it is. Jake Blackhurst and Sammy Swindell. 
More important, thank you for joining us here today. You've been listening to Winged Nation, presented by Hercules Tire, right on our strength. You can also find Winged Nation on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and in the MRN.com Media Center. Winged Nation is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.